Hey, Matt. What you having over there? No, it's not Matt. It's Player in Chief. Player in Chief. Wow. Where did you get that from? Little bag tag. Courtesy of the Ask Club. What a great day. Here we have a... What is this? A big breakfast. Yeah. It's pretty big. Pretty what is breakfast. that? Mushrooms? Tomatoes? Oh, yeah. And everything's warm for a change. In Asia, we often get cold food. But this place is food. properly done. Delicious that and delicious coffee. What a life. What about you, Jay Macaroon? Yo, what a food. Big breakfast. It's big. It's certainly breakfast. Big breakfast for big people. <laughs> we got some amazing guys who are putting ice for us. What a bunch of legends. Thank you so much. It's okay. Okay. The service that the house is unreal. Unreal. How this works. Hey, Golf Cycling, what do you think of the service at Els Club? What a place, man. You've got to come here. Just check, just check behind those facilities. Check the putting, putting and pitching and bunker green. Also, You've got the putting green right here. You've got a range behind there, which has got, I don't know, five, six greens. Perfect. Mountains Perfect. of balls. Man, also, I've wanted to come out here and stay for like a month. Yeah. 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 It's, um, it comes with a free J-Mac. J-Boom! Look at that, look at that pose. Warming up with a color. Wow. What do you mean warming up? This is my driver, bro. Okay, okay, Service with a smile, thank you. Look at what lays before us, players. What a hole. I shoot the rangefinder to the bunkers on the left and just hit the two iron. The fairway slopes to the right into the stream and the way I was hitting the driver today all over the club base, I just wanted a fairway. There's no way I'm getting home in two anyway with that green so elevated. My initial thought was to lay up to my favorite 95 yard distance for a 58 degree wedge into the green. I had just read that strokes gained advertisement for drivers and game improvement irons. Uh, sorry, I mean book. So I hit the four iron instead to get really close to the green. When approaching a raised green like this, is a 45 yard shot better than a full 58 degree wedge from 90 yards? What do you think, player? What would you choose to the raised green? A full wedge into the green or a partial pitch? Now I've left this about 42 yards, kind of tough, it's uphill, one of those half shots, probably better served to have left it shorter, but I wanted to see what difference it makes being closer to the hole. Strokes gained, bro. In the experiment with T-Ski, I laid it up further back. Check that video out to see the result. Boyfriends, I say it over and over and over. Avoid the short side like your mother-in-law. Snowball's chance in Southeast Asia that I get this up and down. What a view. This is the hole you wait for at Els Club Valley Course. But to be honest, this is only the second best view I found. Just wait for the 13th. Even more fantastic. These greens are superb. The pace is consistent, which is the most important part, and they also roll pure, staying on the line you choose. There's no bouncing or bubbling. When I play a course, I find the green quality to be the most important aspect. The rest of the course can be okay, but if the greens are good, that's what I remember. And to achieve this with tropical grass is an achievement. The landscape was changed on this nine. More elevation, more intense bunkering, 
quite pretty indeed. I hit 4 iron here because the hole is quite short, but I also can't see what's on the right side. I don't want to push a 2 iron and be in the poofies, so a safe 4 iron into the fairway and we're laughing with a low iron into the green. Wow, this approach is scary. That green must be 10 yards above us with a wall of bunkers waiting to receive me like a Venus flytrap. I double check the distances to the front and back, that's to the touch screen GPS in the carts. Factor in the elevation, so I'll lose 6 or 7 yards up the hill. It's go time! Okay, we'll come have a look there, Jacob. I mean guys, sometimes you just look at a hole and it's a little bit crazy. I mean, I'm not quite sure of the sanity level here of what happened with Vige or Vige. I mean, we've got bunkers all the way up here. Uh, if you're going like 50 yards long, you're even going to have a bunker shot. You've got one up over there. I mean, look at this, like a tabletop and then it slopes off at the corners everywhere. You really have to be quite precise. And these greens are nice and firm and they roll about 10.5 ish. Very challenging, very challenging. 10 bunkers per hole. Yeah, average of 10 bunkers a hole with a bonus seven somewhere else. Pushed it like a little baby. Oh, so anxious. And here it is, the most beautiful thing I've seen on any golf course since moving over here. Wow. Matt, is your name actually Matt Tapinski? No, my real name is actually Phil Nicholson, left-handed cousin of Jack Nicholson. Hey, was that Jack okay. Nicholson? Just to the right of that bunker, yeah. that'll leave me a little Pitching wedge or 9 iron into the green. This is what I love about golf. You can hit a few puffy shots or hit a great one, still get into a poor position, then hit another super shot to save the day. The previous par 3 was a great shot off the tee, but finished in the bunker. Then, a superb bunker shot saved the day. Here I've hit a decent tee shot, followed by a chunky monkey layup, which left me a lot of work to do. I hit a scorcher into the green, but overshot it and short-sighted myself. But then, all that experience playing Lynx Golf out here in Asia led to this stroke of genius. Center of the green, man. I'm so scared. Nice touch.
And to finish, there are only 16 bunkers on this hole. I pulled it so far left, I unintentionally took them all out of play, like a bouse. Of course, I'm claiming this was intentional. I now have the best angle into the green, looking straight up the shoot. Players, the score was flattering. I don't think I played too well, but sometimes you can just scramble your way around a course. We have to fight our way through the bad patch. We accept it and understand, hey, it cannot last forever. It'll get better. It could improve on the next hole, the next nine, or the next round. And if it lasts forever, players, don't worry. We can just quit and take up cycling instead. So really, playing bad golf and keeping our heads screwed on is win-win. We can save a score, prove to ourselves we are fighters, and we can understand that it can only get better eventually. In the meantime, let's enjoy time with family, have fun, laugh at ourselves, and how seriously we take the game and understand we do this by choice. We could always quit, but we won't if we follow the way of the player. Stress-free players!